At age 25, New York Magazine's Washington correspondent, Olivia Nuzzi, has already made a big name for herself. The magazine's March 18th edition featured a takeout on White House Communication Director Hope Hicks, who quit right before the story went to publication. But now some are questioning the lengths to which Nuzzi went to get the story. I'm very familiar with the topic. Olivia Nuzzi was already a familiar face about town when she was assigned to profile White House Communications Director Hope Hicks. A new profile of Hicks in New York Magazine is full of details about what her life was but like behind the closed doors in the White House. Nuzzi and Hicks knew each other, so while Hicks didn't grant an interview, she was open to talking a little bit. What has surprised me is that she is so normal in the middle of this extraordinarily strange situation. In a follow-up story about how she got Hicks to talk, Nuzzi told Columbia Journalism Review, I never approached her cynically. I think there was a consistent trust. Nuzzi also says she tried to reach out to former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, who was rumored to have had a fling with Hope Hicks. I reached out to Corey Lewandowski probably over a dozen times over the last few weeks trying to get him to uh, sit for an interview with me. So when he refused, Nuzzi told Columbia Journalism Review she went to his house. I'm knocking, knocking, nobody's answering. But after a while, I just touched the doorknob, and the door was open. I walked in, and I'm in the house, by myself. So I took this photo of the quote on the wall. I peered around but didn't walk fully into the house. Now Lewandowski tells the host of Rose Unplugged that Nuzzi was trespassing. It's absolutely a crime. It's absolutely trespassing. Can you imagine if uh, someone from Breitbart walked into David Axelrod's home? It would be a front-page story on every major publication for a week. All leading to the age-old question, do the ends justify the means? I hate to say it, I agree with Corey Lewandowski on that, that mm -hmm. if this had happened to David Axelrod or a number of other people, and it had been, well, we saw what happened with James O'Keefe, you know, activists, you know, posing as something else within the abortion clinics and other things. It was front page news for weeks. I believe on that. On the other issue of whether the ends justify the means and whether that was an act, an illegal act of um, entering without permission, um, I think anybody who's ever been in that situation um, has done something similar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any, any journalist, you know, <laughs> all of a sudden, there you are, and, you know, hello, hello, is anybody home? You've crossed the threshold. I mean, did she rifle through the desk? I'm mm -hmm. sure some people have mm -hmm. done that. But um, I have to say that the, the temptation would have been so great, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. Well, this was, I, I think, I, I might even call it a rookie mistake. Mm -hmm. Interesting, she says in that piece how when she's in the house, she realizes something's wrong here. She calls her boyfriend, Ryan Lizza. who essentially tells her, get out of the house, yeah. you know, and she, and she does. Um, uh, it, it was foolish, but, you know, and... and I won't defend it in any way, but but uh, one of the skills you learn as a journalist is to read upside down and backwards. Oh, yeah. So you can walk into somebody's office, and if they have a piece of paper in front of them, you you after a while you can read that piece yeah. of paper, and that's uh, absence of malice. Yeah, the movie I saw that. Was I can do that based too. on that yeah. idea. So there is perhaps a line uh, that uh, she shouldn't have crossed. I don't think that affected the piece. I would say about the uh, the piece, she is an extraordinary yes, writer, that's great. and um, uh, she carried you along. The one thing that was ironic is. She did that long piece, I don't know what it was, 4,000 words or so, and she never got the interview that uh, she no. set up. And she do. never mentioned in that piece that she walked into Corey. She, that came out in, in, That's right. in Columbia Journalism yeah, in an interview, interview that she right. did that. Well, she brought yeah. it out herself, Yeah, she brought right? it out. Yeah. And it, it wasn't just Lewandowski's home. It was his home office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that justifies anything necessarily, but they, I think there's a difference there. Well, no, uh, the home is the office. I think. We, we, were, we went around and around on that, but go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, you know, she goes in. I don't think taking the picture was well advised. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. not, that's when it starts to get a little yeah, creepy. Yeah, the picture. But this strikes me as something less than the crime of the century. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was trespassing. I would call it a misdemeanor rather than a felony. Uh, the building was owned by uh, Citizens United, which is a political group. Uh, it was a little ambiguous as to whether this is his office or his home or both. Uh, I must say that for her, for all of her trespass, she didn't come back with much. Not out of I there. think if you're gonna if you're gonna trespass, you want to come back with something good. Please go through the files. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I, for me, it makes a difference if it's his home or his office. Now, you live there and his office. I was got there. that, but so I'm saying he said it was his home. So I do think you have no business. He in said there. it was his office. I, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, well, this is the problem. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Um, I, many of us have gone, you know, hello, hello, hello. At that point, if somebody's not in there, take your behind out of there, and mm -hmm. you're not taking pictures. That is really inappropriate. Yeah. Now. Does, do, does that mean I don't know people who've tried to do some stuff like that who wouldn't have gone further in there? Of course I do know some people who've done that. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the thing to do, however, and I think it was stupid on her part. And then to hang around and call your boyfriend? What are you, tent to? Stop. You know, I, I just, this is Well, just he's too. former New Yorker guy. I don't again, care Ryan who he is. Lizzo, who's 20 Get years old. Get outside and call your boyfriend. Yeah. Well, not only that, <laughs> you know. her boyfriend gave her good advice. Well, she should have taken it. Exactly. Well, you know, she did well. take it. But, but, but let me just, uh, the last thing I would say is with, with with Corey Lewandowski, uh, knowing what a crime is would be what he would his stock and trade because hello. Okay, but what about the issue he raises <laughs> you know? about right? I mean, if this had happened to Axel Rudd, he's right. It would have been a much yes. bigger story. Yes, well, I think I, well, but yes, but we didn't know till after the story. I think absolutely. No, but right now, even. we're talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, it. Right, what more yes, do you want? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's too bad. I don't, I don't think it's going away. Yeah. It's yeah, too bad yeah. Lewandowski wasn't there because he kind of grabbed her by the arm and, and just her tossed her right, right out of there. He's good right. at that. He knows about crime. She won't do it again. Yeah. I am uh, no. kind of no. yes, about yeah. it. Yeah.